Morning everybody and welcome to week four. This week our theme is generosity. We're going to listen to a gospel in a moment and it's, it's quite long so I just need you to tune in, get yourself ready to listen. So let's gather, making the sign of the cross, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in this gospel, Jesus, it's a parable that Jesus tells. So a, a parable is trying to describe something else, so it's a story with a point. And the point of the story is about the nature of God, how generous God is. A couple of details in the story to help us grasp it. A denarius, that's the unit of currency. We talk about the third hour, the sixth hour, the ninth hour. It's just a way of describing the time, like six o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock in the morning. And the situation is that when you want to work, you go and wait in the marketplace. Someone will come and hire some of you for the day, agree to pay you. So let's listen to our story. It's from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, For the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire labourers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the labourers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And to them, he said, you go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right, I will give you. So they went. Going out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did the same. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing. And he said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you go into the vineyard too. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, call the labourers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last up to the first. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each of them received a denarius. Now when those hired first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the master of the house, saying, These last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last worker as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? So the last will be first and the first last. The Gospel of the Lord. Now I think, had I been working all day and then someone turned up at the last hour, I would expect to be paid more than them. But the story, in the story Jesus is trying to get across to us, that God's generosity is total for everybody. It's not conditional. It doesn't matter how much or how little I do. The love is complete that he has for us. When Jesus died on the cross for each of us, it wasn't dependent on us being good. It wasn't dependent on us even believing in, in him or asking him to do it. We needed to be saved and so he saved us. The invitation is to respond right now. And actually some of the payment of being good, of living this Christian life, we receive right now. When I help other people, when I serve other people, when I'm generous with my time, I get reward. I, 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 I feel alive, I'm happy. The happiest people in the world are those who serve others, not the people who've got the most stuff. There are so many stories about people who've got loads of stuff who are just fundamentally unhappy. Happiness comes through service. Happiness comes through being generous. And Jesus invites each one of us, live this right now. But know this, you can wait. You can wait. You can do all of the bad stuff. You can discover for yourself that actually it doesn't help us. It doesn't serve us. It doesn't fill us with life. And in the last moment of your life, you can still turn to God and say, sorry, you are right. Please forgive me. 
And God's mercy, God's character is that, yeah, come on in. You are loved regardless of what you do. Let's pray. God be in our heads and in our understanding. God be in our eyes and in our looking. God be in our mouths and in our speaking. God be in our hearts and in our caring. God be with our friends and family. Be with us now and always. Amen. Saint Oscar Romero, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.